Welcome to another in the Fort Lewis College Foundation interview series. My name is Shan Wells. Today I'm standing in busy downtown Durango right on the corner of 7th and Main, outside of Karen Gabaldon's gallery. Karen Gabaldon is a longtime Durango ceramicist, painter, and gallerist. And she's a Fort Lewis College alumni. So let's go inside and see what she has to say. How I came here. Yeah. Oh my God, I came here when I was a little, little girl. I was my dad's tomboy and we used to always come camping at Viacito once a year. And I knew since then that this was the place I wanted to be for the rest of my life. And Fort Lewis uh -huh. really appealed to you because of your childhood experience? Uh-huh, yeah, definitely. And how big was the campus at that time? Oh my God, I think uh, maybe 2000. Just what, what 1973. 73. Uh -huh. Yeah. The height of the hippie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Trust me, I was a great hippie. <laughs> and the arts program was fairly new at that time, wasn't it? It was, but I actually started out as a sociology major because oh. I didn't know you could be a, an art major oh. at that time. <laughs> Who was yeah. your teacher? Jill Deemer. And how was that? Um, you know, everybody hated her because she, she was so tough and I loved her. I mean, I was in the ceramics room 12 hours a day, seven days a week. And, uh, you know, everybody that wanted to just get an easy grade thought, oh, I can take pottery. Um, and because she was so tough and made you work, people quickly uh, found out about that. But, you know, for me, I'm a very disciplined person. So that was, that was right down my alley. I, I think she was a great teacher. Right yeah. Okay. Yep. So you did four years of the... I did. Whatever. Four and a half years. Four and a half and, years. And then I went to an art school in Wyoming. Okay, so you came back after Wyoming. Uh-huh. And what happened after that? Then I opened up uh, Bismillah Pottery, which was on uh, down, way down at the other end of Main Street by Buckley Park. And that was my first... Um, studio slash gallery and that was in 1980. Now that was around the time of the formation of the Durango Art Center, wasn't it? The Art Center started I think at 82. Okay, yeah. were you involved? In I was, that? I was very, very involved. Okay, can you in fact, tell me I, that? Yeah, I, I actually ended up being the artist in residence there when okay. it first started and uh, which was smart for them because I ended up doing like all their bookkeeping and all their, I mean they got a free employee out of me for a long time but in trade for that also that's how I learned how to hang shows. Uh, Laurel Vogel was there at the time and some other teachers that were involved and they kind of took me under their wing and taught me all kinds of stuff about you know galleries and two-dimensional art which right. I didn't know about. So it was, it was great. Huh. I stopped doing ceramics in 91 because I got carpal tunnel. Right. And so, of course, I didn't have the money to have the surgery done, right. nor did I want to have it done. So instead, I thought, well, since this is how I make my living, I taught myself how to do watercolors because they were the least toxic and I could, I like to camp and, or I did back then a lot more than I do now, um, hike and so I could take all my um, materials with me easily, you know. Did, did, your, uh, did your degree in ceramics influence the way that you paint or did it, did it help you uh, to, to learn how to paint? That's a great question. Yeah. Um, since I have now switched to acrylics, um, I'm noticing that because acrylics are a lot, uh, they're not as structured. So watercolors, you have to pre-plan everything and draw everything out, and I was doing landscapes. Um, acrylics are more um, adaptable to more contemporary art and more abstract art because you can cover things up and yep. you don't have to plan everything. I finally feel like a painter now. <laughs> so, <laughs> and what I'm seeing is um, all the design elements that I used with pottery are now starting to come out of my paintings. So yeah, it really influenced. And also, I learned how to, thank you, I learned how to, um, instead of most painters will just take a painting and, and start on it and go start to finish or just work on one painting at a time. And what I found for me that works is I work on 20 to 30 paintings at a time. Mm. And just like the pottery, first you had to throw the pots and then you had to do the design work and then you had to glaze them and then you had to fire them and there's all these steps. And uh, with painting, that's what I found is I work in steps. So it's really interesting how that transferred over to my paintings now. 
So the artistic process that you learned at right. Fort Lewis? Yes. Yes. Contributed to the kind of Totally, work that totally. Definitely. I try and, um, you know, donate my time to the art department. Uh, a lot of the students will come in here all season long. Um, a lot of the parents and the students, when they're gonna, uh, when they're looking at the college, come in here because I happen to be on this amazing corner across from the Strader Hotel, and so they come in, and so you know we talk about the school and about the art department, and um, so yeah, I feel like I'm really connected. Yeah, it's it's a big part of the community. So, can you imagine what it'd be like without it? Uh, uh. -uh. And that's why I like living here because, you know, the older I get, I don't have children, so the older I get also, you know, every time school starts, these young people come to town and it's really cool and then I get to get caught up on the <laughs> latest trends and the latest tattoos or whatever. <laughs> but I think it's really important to have the school here. I really do.